Hello, today we're going to look at the response, the body's response to exercise. And two things, two changes we're going to look at are in the heart rate and in breathing. So firstly, in terms of the heart rate, if the body starts to exercise or if you start to exercise, the heart rate increases. And the reason why this increases is because it can then supply more oxygen, and more glucose and more oxygen to the respiring tissue, usually muscles that are working hard when you're exercising. If we have more glucose and more oxygen, that means the respiring tissue is able to carry out more aerobic respiration. Remember, aerobic respiration uses oxygen. And that means the muscles or the respiring tissue will be able to release more energy in order for that work to be done. Okay, so two or three important points there for the reasons for the increase in heart rate. In terms of breathing, we get an increasing breathing rate. In other words, you'll breathe faster, you'll have more breaths per minute, and that's in order to get the oxygen to the muscles. Okay, so the breathing doesn't supply glucose, it just supplies oxygen to the blood, which the faster beating heart supplies to the muscles. We also get an increase in the volume of breathing. In other words, the amount of oxygen or air taken in for each breath. So we have an increase in volume and an increase in the rate, which means much more oxygen can be supplied to the muscles. Now, if we have insufficient oxygen supplying the muscles, and that could be in muscles that are working hard all of a sudden and the oxygen hasn't had time to reach there, what we're going to have for a short while is what we call anaerobic respiration. And we looked at that in the last video. And when we have anaerobic respiration, we have the incomplete breakdown of glucose, in other words, the incomplete oxidation of glucose. Respiration, aerobic respiration is an oxidation reaction, and without the oxygen we get incomplete oxidation, so much less energy released. You'll remember that the word equation for anaerobic respiration in animals was glucose is converted to lactic acid, and this lactic acid actually is a little bit toxic. So when it builds up in the muscles, as a result of anaerobic respiration, it has to be removed. It has various effects on the muscles and the first one is that it creates something called an oxygen debt. An oxygen debt and we'll just briefly look at what that means in a moment and if you're doing the higher tier you need to know it in a little bit of detail. The second thing the lactic acid does is it causes fatigue which means tiredness in the muscles and it also causes the muscles to contract less efficiently than if they had not been working or if they had not been carrying out anaerobic respiration. So three things, oxygen debt, fatigue, and less efficient contraction of muscles. Now this oxygen debt, this buildup of uh, lactic acid, requires some heavy breathing after the exercise has finished. And that is because the heavy breathing will supply oxygen that will help to remove the lactic acid from the muscles. It's quite important to remove that lactic acid because it does cause those negative effects. Now if you're doing the higher tier we just need a little bit more detail in terms of what happens with the lactic acid. So this is for those students doing the higher tier only. So let's imagine we've got some respiring tissue on this body. Let's just do it in the uh, biceps area there. So that's heavily respiring tissue and if you are perhaps lifting heavy weights, doing some exercise, we might get some anaerobic respiration happening in those muscles there. So heavily respiring tissue carrying out anaerobic respiration. This means we're going to get a buildup of lactic acid as we've described as shown by the word equation for anaerobic respiration and that's going to have to be removed. So what happens is the heart pumps the blood, the blood travels to that respiring tissue and carries away that lactic acid from that respiring tissue. Lactic acid is removed and transported to the liver. Once it gets to the liver, that lactic acid is then converted back into glucose. And that glucose can then go through the process of aerobic respiration. Now, lactic acid, as we said, causes an, octic, an oxygen debt. You need to be able to explain what an oxygen debt is or what the oxygen debt is. So we can just make a note of that. An oxygen debt is the amount of extra oxygen needed after exercise to react with the lactic acid and remove it from the cells. So two or three important points there regarding the oxygen debt, how it works and what it is. 
Now we can go back to our original uh, notes here at the beginning and we can add one more thing about the heart rate. We know the heart rate increases when there's an extra level of exercise going on, but one more reason for that increase, uh, that increased blood flow because of the higher heart rate is so that more blood can flow to the respiring tissue and remove more lactic acid because we get a buildup during heavy exercise. Okay, so another reason for that increased blood flow, not only just to supply the oxygen, but also to remove lactic acid as well. Okay, so some foundation tier and some higher tier content in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.